sun get moving? Do you about for one more goodbye? Hello, son. What you got? What's the world doing this morning? Oh, still going around. Go on. Still making them dizzy, eh? Well, there's a bloke here that's just married his seventh wife. Uh, and they talk about the direction of labour. As uh, with most, if not all, British films from the pre- and post-war period, Noose was shot entirely inside a studio, specifically Warner Brothers' first national in Teddington. The sets were designed by Liverpool-born Bernard Robinson, who began his career working at Warner's as a draftsman before joining Alexander Corda at London Films. He was the production designer of Murder at the Windmill, Val Guess' whodunit set entirely inside Mrs. Henderson's House of Burlesque, and later Kosh Boy, Lewis Gilbert's expose of juvenile delinquency. But he's perhaps best known for his long career designing sets for Hammer films, beginning with Hammer's notable horror films from 1957 onwards, like The Curse of Frankenstein. My life's work destroyed. Destroyed in a moment. And by the same hand that gave it life. A British Pathé newsreel from 1948, which details the reopening of Warner's studios after the war, also provides us with behind the scenes of Noose. Here we can see Llewellyn, Glaville and Holloway having a script meeting, and later Kalea is having a little bit of fun with a fellow co-star. The reel not only details the construction of the Soho sets, but also the camaraderie of a production. One wonders whether or not this newsreel function as part of the promotion of the film, because its Soho artifice is only highlighted in the beginning of the film and becomes a redundant device to emphasize the criminal world. But Robinson's reconstruction of Soho does have some authenticity. The fictional Saint Giuseppe's church, which establishes the film's location, was in fact the House of St. Barnabas and Chapel, which from 1862 functioned as a charity to assist homelessness. The chapel, which was built between 1862 and 64, suffered bomb damage, and today the House of St. Barnabas retains its charity status, but also functions as a members-only club. Of course, no such bomb damage can be seen in Bernard's reconstruction of the House of St. Barnabas. And as with most Soho set films, the mise-en-scene remains fairly generic, and it's for us to provide our own Soho imagined onto a film that neither emphasizes nor de-emphasizes its Soho location and denizens. <laughs> 